Hi guys, Dean Island Under Man here again from MigrateiPhone.com and we've got some app reviews for you today and it comes in the form of iWorks for the iPhone. Now this is an update and guys you probably remember that this has been available from the iPad since the iPad was released. Well just two days ago Apple released the update so you can now use the three applications on your iPhone. So as you can see iWorks consists of three um, applications, it's Pages, Numbers and Keynote. Um, Pages is the equivalent to Microsoft Word, Numbers is the equivalent to Microsoft Excel and Keynote is the equivalent to Microsoft PowerPoint. Now each application is available in the App Store for £5.99 or $9.99. So let's first have a look at Pages. So if we launch Pages guys, first of all you'll see that when it has loaded um, and you're greeted with a getting started page. You can open more documents if you just click this little plus icon and you get a menu pop up. You can create a new document, you can copy documents from iTunes, you can import I documents from the iDisk and also from WebDev as well. For the purpose of this video guys we're going to have a look at creating a new document and as you can see you get a list of different templates for the pages documents. You get blank, modern photo letter, classic letter, formal letters, um, project proposals, you get term papers, posters, visual reports, party invites, uh, thank you cards, recipes, loads of stuff there guys. Now we're just going to have a look at the formal letter guys and we'll show you how easy it is to edit these up. So we'll just take a minute for these to load. So as you can see guys um, you get this template pop up here you can just click on the part that you need and you'll get this pop up and you can just change it so guys I'm just going to change this to my name and then any part of these that you click guys it will actually change so there's the address and it will zoom out if you click back and go down and edit any part of the address and then you can edit the whole text as well now this is a little bit fiddly guys and you can pinch and zoom and tap and change everything there you can also change if you look, click the little menu there you can print and share you can find you can set up your documents rulers settings just click done or you can import pictures straight from your camera roll you can import tables charts shapes and then go straight back as well and if you click the little i button you can change the list the layout so title heading this layout import bullet points do the alignment and um, the space saving how many columns that you want so you can do many different things there guys and once you click done it'll take you straight back so you can see the overview now you do have to zoom in quite a lot to see what you are typing guys um, it is a little bit fiddly um, but if you are just going to type up a quick letter then that would be perfect um, you do however guys want, you want to do this if we click back to documents and if you hold these down guys you make them wiggle and you can actually put them in and as you can see there that makes a little folder just like you would on your springboard you can grab that and you can move it back out. So guys if I wanted now to do something with this letter if I click the little settings button here and I could share and print and it gives me the options to email the documents and um, to print it, to share via iWorks, to send back to iTunes and to copy it back to the iDisk or copy it to the web drive as well. Um, everything does have to be emailed so if I click the little email document option there you can see it'll give me the choices send it via pages um, a PDF document or a Microsoft Word document so you can then edit back on your Mac or PC so it's a really nice little feature there guys it's quite easy to edit it can be a little fiddly at times but it is quite nice if you just want to quickly edit possibly your CV and get that emailed out so it's a nice little feature and definitely worth the money so the next one we're going to have a look at guys is Keynote. Now this is probably my favourite. 
Now one thing to remember that Keynote does only work in landscape mode. So once again you get this, get started with Keynote little presentation. If you click the little plus menu you get the same um, pop-ups as you did in pages to copy them from or you can create a new presentation and you get different types of presentations that you can do here so white, black or gradient. The gradient's the type that um, Apple uses for their keynotes and then you get all these different types of um, presentations as well so let's just go into the chalkboard which is a, a nice fun little one uh, really good for using it my daughter loves to use this type of presentation she finds it quite easy to edit so you do get some on screen instructions you can see here that there's a caterpillar picture and if I just click on the picture tab and it'll ask for my camera roll and I just select a picture you can see it's changed there and I can double tap here and enter some new text and to get out of the text guys you can click done you can also import more pictures tables charts and uh, shapes like you could do in pages You've got another settings app, so the same settings as you did before, but you can animate stuff, obviously, in these. So it says here none. If I click the little plus arrow, it gives me a list of different type of animations. We can do a cube animation, an anagram animation, and it'll show you what it comes up like as well. And then there's different options to create the length, how long you want it to, if you want to start it after a previous um, transition, or if you wanted to tap. And it starts as well. If we click on there, you can play your presentation and it'll show you straight away. And also, if you use two fingers on your screen, you're able to rotate your pictures, which is quite nice. Now, this is quite easy to use, guys. Just tap out there and you can pinch and zoom so you can take up more area of the screen as well. And it'll go into landscape and get rid of the sidebar to see your different pages as well. To add a new slide, you just click the plus arrow and it'll give you different types of um, slides that you could do. So you could do another title one, you could do one with a header, one with just text as well. And once again, if I click on the menu, it I can only email these out or copy them back to iTunes as well. Click on the little eye, it says there's nothing selected. So if I selected a picture and click the eye, It'll give me different types of thing, different types of ways to display that picture. So I could display it in a little cutout box, just here, and click back down. And as you can see, it's now changed the way it looks. So Keynote is a really nice feature to use, guys. If you wanted to edit a presentation on your go, say you were on the train, then this would be well worth being able to do it. It is limited and it's not directly like the OSX version but it will do if you just need to quickly edit a file. Now the numbers one out of all of them is probably the hardest to use and that's because you're using a lot of columns and it is quite fiddly. It's not my favourite and I probably wouldn't use this um, like I would do the other two. Um, I do really like using Excel and I find it really helpful um, and I also like using numbers on a Mac but just this version, I don't think it's it's cut out to what you want it to be. Once again, there's loads of templates, guys. You can do loan comparisons, checklists, blank documents, budget forms, um, auto log. You can do shopping lists. You name it, you could probably do it. So let's just um, go into the blank one, as you can see here, guys. So we'll wait for this to load. Okay, and I can open a new sheet, and I can keep adding sheets as much as I want. Now, to, to work in a cell, you just tap on it and you can start typing um, the name of the box. So let's call this One Monday and then Tuesday. And as you can see, you can go all the way across and down the side. Say I wanted um, to do. Um, people's names okay and then we'll input some numbers as well so we're going to show you how to do a small um, 
graphers for this. So if we do four, nine, seven, and eight. Okay. So I've come back out of there. And if I just go into the settings here and highlight those cells, um, if I just highlight that box there, what I can do now is create a graph. So if I click, so let's say I wanted to make a chart. So we'll do just this pie chart here. And it'll give me a pop-up so that I can make it bigger. So as you can see, it's asking me to double tap on the chart information. There you can see, guys, that I've created a chart straight there. And it gives you um, the numbers at the side, Emma, John, and the days of the week. But you can see, guys, how fiddly it was there. So like I said, this probably isn't my favourite application to use. Um, so guys, that's iWorks for the iPhone. Um, two out of the applications are quite simple to use and I could see me using them quite a lot. Numbers on the other hand, it's just a no-go for me. So I've been Dean on Underman from MigrateIPhone.com. Remember to comment, rate and subscribe and uh, we'll catch you in the next video.